Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today, uh, technology has let me down because my card was there very early, but it was not reflecting. Um, Madam Speaker, there is a reason why Article 1 of the Constitution says that the sovereign power of the people, that the people shall express the sovereign power, address with the people. And they have two ways to, to express it, either directly or through the elected representatives. Madam Speaker, that is the reason why the Congress of the U.S. has not adjourned, the House of Commons and the House of Lords have not adjourned, because it is exceptional circumstances, maybe even a set of emergency, that then people can suspend that sovereignty and leave it to other arms of government, like the military or the executive, on its own. Madam Speaker, because of that, and uh, I will go to my reasons, even though I, I agreed with the amendment by Senator Uchilo Ayako on principle, I, I am against this uh, adjournment of, of, of the Senate, completely against it, Madam Speaker, for scientific reasons and for legal reasons. Legal reasons are that the people today need us more than uh, before. These actions being taken at a time of crisis need oversight. Um, we need to ask questions, and in many different aspects. Questions must be asked, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, um, there is no value of Senator Maruma going to walk around hospitals in Taitataveta. Uh, Kenyans need more here to oversight what interventions are being done on the national response. It is not that there are 67 people here every day. Many times, I mean, just look at how many we are now. Many times we are, we are, we are much fewer. And this is the time, and I've given an example. Congress have just passed um, what you call the Corona uh, Relief Bill. What legislative intervention are we giving Kenyans at, the, at this point? There is a coronavirus response legislation being uh, debated in the House of Lords today as it has come from the, the House of Commons. What are we doing apart from debating going home? In these 14 days, Madam Speaker, scientifically, and I'm glad that you're a scholar and you're an academician, scientifically, in the, at the outset of a pandemic or a disease like this, the first two weeks are not the time to quarantine because the cases will definitely go up. You must wait for a threshold. And if you look at any management of, 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 of epidemics such as this, there is a threshold of a number